This is Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for August 12, 2016. Corn market today was up anywhere from a penny, penny and a quarter. The soybean complex was down about two cents. The wheat market up six on the day. When you look to the weekly trade, corn down two, the bean market down a half, and the wheat market up six and a half. So the overall tone, big crop report today, USDA went up all the way to a 175.1 yield in corn, and we're over a 48 yield in bean, 48.6 roughly there. And the overall, uh, demand as a result also increased. So we're gonna need lofty demand numbers here on a weekly basis to really keep up with what USDA is forecasting are some very strong usage. But those yield numbers caught a lot of people off guard and uh, kind of put a bearish approach to the markets for a little bit, but we were able to come back, which is an encouraging sign. I think people uh, just kind of want to take the weekend, think about what they want to do and come here with a fresh start next week. But if we have these big yields and the prospect is there, it's gonna weigh on this market over time. One of the big hindrances though is we've got a a lot of rain forecasted for the eastern corn belt here over the next five to seven days so we're gonna have to watch that very closely in the cattle market on the week we were down 57 and a half live cattle are in feeder cattle live cattle down 135 hog market uh, down 30 kind of a choppy day for each of the uh, feeder cattle live cattle and hogs today some months up some months down but a right around steady is where we finished in a lot of these contracts looking at the cattle market we just can't seem to get that uh, cash trade gonna be very important to what we finish here on Friday Friday, but we did have some 116, 117, which was slightly lower than expected. And that's what drug on the markets yesterday. Today, there's some optimism. We could see some stronger cash, but gonna need to see that to try to get up into these 200 day moving averages. If we can't get something put together here pretty quickly, uh, then we're gonna have some problems again very quickly. Um, the hog market, on the other hand, continues to deal with a uh, lack of exports and, and big slaughter numbers. So we're gonna continue to see a more of a sideways downtrending pattern there. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation.